Hello, my name is Jan Benham, founder and CEO of The Aroma Shop and Jan Benham Cosmetics. Today I'm going to talk about various waxes that we use in the making of creams and lotions and also in makeup. So what I'm talking about here is natural waxes that are plant-based and first of all I'm going to start with beeswax. So beeswax is a glandular excretion product from bees. So it has one of the lowest melting points of natural waxes, so it melts at 61 to 68 OC. And it's basically less hard than the other waxes. Now where I'd add this to is usually to ointments, especially in the winter time when the skin gets extremely dry. So adding about 10 or 5 to 10 percent of beeswax to your mixture, which along with shea butter and oils, can help to protect the skin against dryness. And as I said, I use this, would use this mainly in ointments and for creams for very dry skin. In makeup, I use beeswax in making lipstick and lip glosses. Um, if you want a vegan option though, you would want to use another type of wax. So it's not vegan, of course. So it's used in lipsticks, lip balms, creams, pencils, especially cosmetic pencils. And we also use, to use this in the making of mascara as well. So that is beeswax. And I would suggest that you get it in this format as opposed to in blocks. It's so much easier to work with. Now the next wax I'm going to look at is called candelilla wax. So candelilla wax is a plant extract from the leaves of the candelilla plant. And it has a higher melting point. It's a little bit harder than beeswax. So it goes from 69 to 73 degrees centigrade. So it has a very, um, you want to make sure it's refined so it doesn't have any grainy deposits uh, when it's temp heated up to high temperature. It's used in formulations to thicken and to harden products. So most of the time we use this in makeup, especially things like uh, eye and lip pencils and also in lipsticks. It's also, if you want to have a vegan option in your ointment, then you can use candelilla wax instead of using beeswax. But you would usually need to use slightly less of the candelilla wax than the beeswax if you're formulating. So great in vegan ointments, lip balms, lipsticks, soles, and lotion bars. It also is, in lipstick, it gives a really nice gloss to lipsticks and it's also hypoallergenic. So this is a great vegan option of a natural plant wax. And then the third one is canalba wax. Now canalba wax is a natural plant wax excluded from the leaves of a palm tree. And there's different types of palm trees. Um, and it's the hardest natural wax that you can get. And it has a hardness and making it rigid. So this is used a lot in um, pencils and it, it can also make them very brittle as well, which is why often when I mix up the canalba wax, I will also mix it with things like shea butter, possibly a little beeswax, and they often work very well together. So basically canalba wax helps lengthen the staying power of many skin and hair care products. It's thickening, softening, and it's again hypoallergenic. Can be used in face creams, again more for dry, dry skin and deodorants and many categories of makeup. So this would be, you could use this in lipsticks, lip balms, um, especially the pencils and so on. So that is three of my favorite uh, natural, 100% natural waxes that you can get and use in for creams, ointments, makeup, including pencils, eye and lip pencils, um, also in cake mascara as well, I use this for, and also in my, my regular mascara, I use the canalba wax as well. So, I do hope you find this useful, and it's bye for now from Jam Benham Cosmetics.